Welcome to class 7 mathematics classes wherein mensuration chapter area of triangles question number 8 find the area and the height of an equilateral triangle whose each side measures 12 cm okay so we have to find the area of the equilateral triangle and the height of the equilateral triangle okay the side is given as 12 cm so we know the formula to find the area of the equilateral triangle and the height of the equilateral triangle so area of each equilateral triangle is given by area is equals to root 3 by 4 into a square where a is the side of the equilateral triangle okay so in place of a we'll write 12 so root 3 the value of root 3 is 1.73 okay you have to remember the value of root 3 sometimes it is given in the question and sometimes you have to apply yourself so a is your 12 square okay 12 centimeter square so here root 3 by 4 into 12 square means 12 into 12 centimeter square here 4 1 ja, 4 3 ja, 12 3 ja, 36 36 root 3 centimeter square so root 3 the value is 1.73 okay this one you have to remember when you multiply you are going to get the area okay so multiply in the rough and you will get here 62.28 centimeter square this is the area of the equilateral triangle okay whose side is 12 centimeter now the height height is given by root 3 by 2 a okay a is the side so again replace the value of a which is 12 centimeter now 2 1 ja, 2 6 ja. So here 6 root 3 and root 3 is 1.73 centimeter. Okay. So the unit given here is centimeter. So when you multiply this, you will get 10.38 centimeter, which is the height of the equilateral triangle. Okay. Question number 2. Side is given as 10 meter. Okay. So area would be equal to root 3 by 4 into 10 into 10 meter square okay as this is the area so meter square here so this is by 2 to 5 ja again to 1 ja to 5 ja 5 ja 25 25 root 3 okay so 25 into 1.73 the value of root 3 meter square okay so when we multiply these two we get 43.25 meter square as the area of this equilateral triangle okay now the height height is given by root 3 by 2 into side so side here 10 so here 2 1 ja, 2 5 ja. so you have 5 root 3 meter okay so root 3 is your 1.73 so when you multiply this you will get 8.65 meter okay question number 3 side is given as 6.4 meter okay so the area of equilateral triangle is given by root 3 by 4 into side square so side square here let us write a square okay and again root 3 by 4 into 6.4 into 6.4 okay meter square 
So here we can cancel this by 2. This one also. So when we multiply 3.2 into 3.2 and the value of root 3 that is 1.73 meter square. Okay. So when we multiply this we should get 17.7 152 meter square okay now the height height is given by root 3 by 2 a isn't it so a is the side root 3 by 2 into 6.4 okay so here also you can cancel 3.2 now unit is meter so here root 3 the value is 1.73 into 3.2 meter okay so here we will get when we multiply we should get 5.536 meter okay question number 9 find the area of a right triangle whose hypotenuse is 26 centimeter long and one of the sides containing the right angle measures 10 centimeter so here is a right triangle right angled triangle okay and according to the question 26 centimeter is the hypotenuse okay length of the hypotenuse is 26 centimeter and any one of the side is 10 centimeters so here let us take it as 10 centimeter so here we have to find the perpendicular this is the base this is the hypotenuse and this we have to find so we know the pythagoras theorem for right angle triangles using that we can find this perpendicular okay so here by pythagoras we can write here we can write hypotenuse square is equals to perpendicular square plus base square okay so hypotenuse is given as 26 centimeter so this one is square and perpendicular square and base is 10 centimeter square okay so here 26 square is your 26 into 26 that is 676 okay is equals to p square plus here is centimeter square also there okay so i have not written 10 into 10 is 100 okay let us calculate first so 100 we are getting here square of 10 okay this will come this side and it will be subtracted p square so p square is equals to how much we get here 576 okay so p is the square root of 576 do the factorization here okay for 576 to get the square root we'll get the square root of 576 as 24 okay here the unit is centimeter now we know this also okay the height of the triangle perpendicular means the height of the triangle so using the formula area is equals to half into base into height we can get the area half base you can take it as 10 and height as 24 so 2 ones are here 2 12 are. so this equals to 12 into 10 is 120 120 centimeter square as this is the area so unit will be in centimeter square okay question number 10 okay the area of a right triangle is 240 centimeter square so area of the right angle triangle is given and one of its leg is 16 centimeter so one of the side is also of uh, side is also given of this right angle okay right triangle so find the length of the other leg so area given and one side given of a right triangle okay we have to find the another leg length of the another leg so here 
area is equals to half into base into height okay so one leg is base another leg is height of this right triangle area is given as 240 so here 240 half one of the leg is 16 centimeters so take it as base and this we have to find height two ones are two eights are 16 so eight will come this side to divide so when you divide height we get as 30 centimeter eight ones are eight two are 16 eight three is a 24 so here we can cancel it it was a eight trees and eight zeros so 30 centimeter question number 10 height we got as 30 centimeter question number 11 the legs of a right triangle are in the ratio 3 is to 4 okay the legs of the right triangle are given in the ratio and its area is 1014 centimeter square find its hypotenuse so if you draw a if you draw a right triangle so the area of this right triangle is 1014 centimeter square okay and the legs are in the ratio 3 is to 4 so let the common factor be x so let it be 3x and let it be 4x so here area is given all right so here area is given and the formula is half into base into height okay let the common factor be x now here area is 1014 and here half so here base is 4x and height is 3x so when you cancel this you will get 3 to just 6 x into x x square so 1014 okay so here we will divide x square is equals to 1014 divided by 6 so that you will get as 169 when you divide this you get 169 so x will be square root of 169 so square root of 169 is 13 okay 13 13 we got the common factor okay so with this common factor we can know what is the actual length of this and what is the actual length of this okay so we can write base is equals to 4 into 13 and height is equals to 3 into 13 so 4 into 13 is 52 centimeter here 3 into 13 is 39 centimeter but the question is asking find its hypotenuse so here we will apply this um, Pythagoras theorem okay Pythagoras theorem is p square is equals to no h square okay hypotenuse square is equals to p square plus b square so here h square we have to find okay or h we have to find p is your the height that is 39 square and base is 52 square so square of 39 you have to find so that is 1521 and square of 52 is 2704 when you add you are getting 4225 here h square as this much okay so now the square root of 4225 will give us the hypotenuse find its hypotenuse in, in the question so here square root of 4225 doing rough the factorization of this and find the square root of this quantity 4225 you should get 
65 here okay 65 centimeter therefore the required hypotenuse is 65 centimeter okay thank you